All right, so I'm just setting everything up right now. Let me know how the audio is to you. Um, of course, let's see if uh, Twitch wants to work for me. Let's check out this Twitch audio, see how it's going. In the meantime, I'll kill this. I actually don't hear it at all. Let's see here. I don't hear any game music. Let's find out. All right, game music, come on, don't fuck with me. This is really fun to watch myself setting shit up just so I can make sure it works. This is really fun to watch myself setting shit up just to make sure it works. I'm gonna assume this works. I just turned it on for a brief second. I'm still setting up if you're just joining me. I just got ready. All right, we're good, I think. All right, Game Dev Tycoon. We're back. I'm glad to be back. Hopefully we won't get that weird stuttery fucking problem. I, uh, I changed a few things. As soon, as soon as I said that, you know what? I was all excited to have the fucking, <laughs> to have the fucking game audio. I don't know what it is. I honestly don't know what it is. Alright, so we're just gonna kill the music. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright, here we go. More game debt. Market analysis. It seems that the market has normalized again with no particular strong trends at the moment. Alright, fine. So where were we? I do not remember. Alan Lowe. Uh, let's, let's, um, we have 30 research points. We have 3.8 million dollars. Let's get some people um, trained on some shit. Um, let's see here. Let's train me on 3D Graphics V1. And let's send you on vacation. You, Caden, you are having a bad day. And let's train you on Game Dev Gems. Start training. All right, so these guys are going to do their training, and we are just going to let that happen for a minute. We're not going to make a new game until... Let's see if we can get some research on something else also. New topic. What do we got? Evolution, school, rhythm. Let's just take evolution. Okay. We have no research points. We can't do anything else for the moment. That's fine. Um... What is bumping away? Oh, that's that's his uh, shit going up. That's fine. Evolution's completed. Uh, Caden's back. Let's develop. An, actually, let's find some contract work. Um, yeah, we can do that. Four bugs. Easy peasy. Wings of Fury is now off the market. It sold 47,091 units, generating $518,089 in sales. Excellent. Look at that. Fucking over. We got so much time. We're gonna get so much tech points out of this. Awesome. That was such an easy one. Thank you for taking care of this for us. We'll transfer twenty three thousand to your account. Hey, that's that's fucking easy money. Is there is there any more contract work that might pay a little better? Uh play testing sixteen with sixty three, seventy three thousand. Yeah, let's try it. Invento announced the much-anticipated successor of the popular TES console. This is the greatest console we've ever built. It comes with state-of-the-art 16-bit graphics and sound. It is simply super. And that's why we to call, decided to call it the Super TES. All right. All right. Fans around the world have been waiting for this moment, and it seems that they will not be disappointed. All right. Let's crack out this uh, shit here, which shouldn't be any problem at all. Maybe by the time we're done, we'll have... Uh, yeah, maybe the Super TES will be out and we'll start developing for that. Man, 
remember? Fuck it, we crushed that one. That was so fucking easy. Yeah, we're getting research points because of it, which is great. Awesome. 73,000. <coughs> Actually, we're losing money in monthly costs, so let's let's do one more, and then we'll... We need to have patient looks futuristic for a movie. Let's give it a shot. Why not? Maybe we can do it, maybe we can't. We'll find out. Three people, though? Ooh, fuck, it's not looking great for us. Ninvento! Yes! Alright, cool. We might do it. It's gonna be fucking close, though. Yes! Fuck yeah, we did it! Thank you for the quick work. We'll transfer 60k. Excellent. Okay. Let's get a new game out. Super Ninvento. Uh, should we create a custom engine? 3D graphics V1? Yeah. Uh, what do we want to call this one? What did I call the last one? Uh, I don't remember, because it was... You know, yesterday, and uh, we'll call this uh, uh, Super Dog for Engine. It's the good one. Although, honestly, should we? Because we've only got that's our only. No, let's. We'll wait until we research some more shit first. Develop new game. All right, pick topic. Let's go with evolution simulation. No, the Super Nintendo just came out. Let's go with. Uh, another alien, and a medium, mature, do you think mature, let's go with everyone, um, adventure, on the super TES, we just, we want that license, and we're gonna go with trouble with names, that's what it was, alien adventure for the super TES, uh, let's, um, what should we call it, I don't, uh, uh Hurt was the other alien one, and then there was, uh, Game Over, uh, Let's call it coming out of the walls. All right, next. Let's see how it goes. Uh, 2D graphics V2, yes. All right. Hopefully this is something. Alan Lowe, he's a design guy. So let's um, let's give him stories and quests. Mal, we'll throw you on the engine since uh, you're pretty even on everything. Uh, let's bring stories and quests down a bit. Engine up, gameplay up. Okay. Uh, if you got any tips for me, let me know. Last, yesterday, someone was giving me tips, but I was just too slow and dumb to use them. Ooh, got two bugs already. All right. Um, how the fuck are we at 89? Jesus, shitting Christ. Uh, design. Alan Lowe, guess what, baby? You're on it. Uh, AI can come down. Level design can come up. That's, I mean, that seems pretty fair. Okay. And we've got enough people now where we can develop games like this and it won't be such a strain on us. Us. Okay. Part three. Mono sound, yes. Alan Lowe, uh. Oof, sorry, buddy. Uh, oh, that's why. Alan Lowe's on, uh, two things. Uh, let's throw Mal on graphic level. Caden, sound, world design. Actually, that's. Let's see if we can get everybody to. Uh, Actually, that's, that's fine. Right there, I think. Graphics, let's pump those graphics. There's a clear... Shit! <laughs> Trend towards strategy games recently. As soon as this game's done, we're banging out a strategy game. Okay. And hopefully we can get it before the trend dies. But chances are, we won't. Alright, let's get those bugs out. Seems quite a few players use illegal copies of Wings of Fury. I managed to identify some of them. We could either sue them to defend our copyright or send them warnings to ask them to warn them. Of course. Don't be a piece of shit. Right away. Media is a buzz list. Blah, 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 blah. Vony, a company known for general electronics, has presented a prototype called the Play System. Apparently, Vony has collaborated with Ninvento, creators of the beloved and successful TES and Super TES consoles, to develop what is basically a Super TES with a CD drive. This would be the world's first console using a CD drive. 
Was that really announced before the Sega CD? The PlayStation? I don't think it was. I don't think it was. Also, did the Jaguar use a CD? I don't remember. Journalists around the world are baffled as only one day after Voni and Invento jointly announced the play system at the entertainment conference, things have turned sour. Invento announced today they will cancel the project and instead seek to develop a new console with a different partner. Rumor has it that the distribution deal the companies had worked out was unfavorable to Ninvento, handing over much of the control to Boney. This seems to be the end of the play system. I'm just cranking out all these points. Fuck, we got a bug. Let's get rid of that bug and finish it. Got it. All right. Hopefully, because we took a little extra time, it'll be good for us, and hopefully we can get a strategy game out immediately. What should we put it on? What system? I have no idea. Now level. Release it. New research available. Character progression. Cool. Actually, let's research some shit. We need to. Um, let's see. What do we want to have going for us? Open world. Yes. Let's have you research. Uh, what are the new topics? Why, fuck, man, just shitty topics. Um, ooh, fuck me. All right, let's see. Simple cutscenes, yes. And Alan, you are going to research. Simple cutscenes in the open world is what we grabbed. Uh, better dialogues. Okay. First reviews of our newly released game, Coming Out of the Walls, came in. Nice experience. Seven. All right, it'll get us some cash. Seven. Good game. Eight. Love it. Eight. Adventure games work well in the Super TS. Not bad. Okay, hopefully this helps us out a little bit. All these guys are researching. Alan's going to need a vacation soon. In two months, the TES will be taken off the market. Cold Purple Games has recently sent warnings to several players using illegal copies of their game Wings of Fury. That was the airplane chasing down the chicken, right? Yep. Piracy is an increasingly big problem in the industry. Some companies invest a lot of money and effort to fight piracy, while others argue that it's better to take a more relaxed approach and invest in better games instead. We have gained 190 fans. We're, we got some fans. That's not bad. All right. Let's crank out a new engine, should we? 3D graphics v1, simple cutscenes, better dialogues, open world. 250k. And we'll call this dog fart. Dog fart. That works. Let's create it. Alan needs a fucking vacation. God damn it, Alan. Coming out of the walls is doing okay. It's not doing great, but something fuck man god you just started working here you've released one goddamn game holy hell ts is no longer sport you released four games of platform and earned a total of seven hundred seventy thousand. all right your new game engine dog fart is now complete alan vacation hurry the fuck up all right, we are going to develop a new game, just me and Caden. It's going to be a strategy game. We're going to hopefully get this out quickly. Pick topic. Uh, business. We're going to call it, who's the boss? Boss. Who's the boss? Uh, pick a platform. We're going to do it on the... Super TES? No. Let's do it on the PC. And we're going to use Dog Fart. Who's the boss? Uh, everyone. Good. And me and me and uh, Caden should be able to do it real quick. 2D Graphics V2. Yes. Start development. All right. Uh, simple cutscenes? Yes. Linear story? Yes. Save game? Yes. Better user experience? Yes. Stories and quests? Way up. Engine? Is uh, fine. I need to come down a little bit. Okay. 
Alan's almost back. Hi, this is Gary White from Gamers. <laughs> I got word that Cold Purple Games is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information about your current game project and to and do an interview about it? Agree. What is your expectation regarding the success of Who's the Boss? Do you think the game will be well received? Hype game. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Okay, uh, can we mark it? Let's see. Magazines. Yes. Alright, so we're going to market this right away. This is the first time we've used the marketing. Better dialogues, yes. AI, yes. Level design down. Dialogues, yes. Okay. Hopefully that, that works. How's our money? 3.4 million. We're kind of hovering in that area. That's, that's fine. Uh, open world. Doesn't need open world. It's a strategy game. Sound, graphics, world design. Let's bring the sound way up. Okay. Fuck, we need stereo sound. What the hell are we doing with mono right now? Coming out of the walls is now off the market. It sold 126,453 units, generating $1,391,049 in sales. Nine bugs. Get it out. We got hype. 94 hype. Boom. All right. No records? Oh, new topic to combo. I just didn't make the dinging noise, so I figured it wasn't anything. Who's the boss? Level design. Level up. Graphic. Level up. 2D graphic V2. Level up. Level up. Caden Vega leveled. Release it. Salary increase. Duty increase in experience following staff run a race. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's see. Let's research some shit. I thought we did level editor. Start research. First reason really was game Who's the Bows came in. Fuck. Has its moments. Fuck! I thought we were on the trend. Four. They should focus more on tech. Falls a bit short. Business and strategy is a great combination. Thank you. Research. New topic. Let's just go with life. Start research. Research. What are the what's a new topic now? Sci-fi! There we go. Fuck, man. Why isn't that one just right off the bat? I got a bunch of shitty ones this time. Research. What's a new topic? Horror. Oh, yeah. In a exclusive interview a while ago, Mal from Cobo Games made very bold remarks about their then in development game, Who's the Bowels, predicting it would be uber successful. Fuck. Now that the game is out of the market, the sense is that Mal should have been more careful as the final product doesn't match the hype expectations. Overall, this had a negative effect on sales. Seems the market is normalizing with no particular strong trends at the moment. Am I speaking way too fast? Probably. Sci-fi and life are both done. And horror should be done. Yes. Okay, great. Let's find some contract work. Easy. Nice job. Okay. Let's uh, do one more. Design a board game. 57 bugs in three weeks. I'm not sure if we could do that. Set up computers. Review game concept. 43. Could we do 43? I don't know. Let's not. Develop a new game. We're going to do a medium game. We're going to do a horror game. And it's going to be a horror RPG on the game lane with dog fart. A horror RPG. That'd be very fucking... I, I can't think of any right off the bat, but that would be fucking excellent to play. Is there a horror RPG out that I just am, like, totally fucking blanking on? I have no idea. I have no idea. What should we call it? Oh, shit! No, that's a horrible title. No one would no one would buy that. Um, let's, let, let's call it... Uh, Do you need help carrying things to the parking lot? No, that's too many. That's too many letters. Uh, let's call it. Let Let's call it. 
duct tape. Dark. Uh, I'm not sure about the gameling. Let's. Hmm. Let's go with Super TES. And we'll make it mature. I don't know how this is going to go. Let's. F let, I mean, let's just fucking go with it. And let's market it right away. In my fucking. I think. I feel like I'm blowing a lot of money on nothing right now. We'll find out, though. Alright, let's see. Uh, Kaden. I'm going to have you on gameplay, and Mal, I'll throw you on that. Sorry, the quest. Gameplay done. Let's bring the engine way up. Okay. We'll see how that goes. Who's the Bows? Is now off the market. It sold 36,140 units generating $253,014 in sales. Not great, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Dialogues. Let's go with uh, Alan. Caden, we're going to throw you on AI. And Mal, level design. Let's bring the AI down. Let's bring level design up. And we'll bring dialogues down also. Fuck, everything's like... I don't know. I don't know. Goddamn Caden needs a second vacation. How many times has he gone on vacation? Zero fucking times. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, reporter for Planet GG. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be willing to give an interview about this? Yeah, great. Thank you for your time. Oh, fuck. What did I say? We'll publish the interview next week. Ooh, hope I did not embarrass myself. Planner GG has recently published an interview with Culpa Games. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeting at mature players. Mal, owner of and CEO of Culpa Games, said, We think that players are looking for more mature content in games, and we are willing to take the risk to give it to them. Many industry experts say that sooner or later, games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to those games. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, Alan, you're on world design. Caden, you are on sound. And Mal, you are on graphics. Uh, we can bring graphics down a little. World design, fuck it, right up there. And sound, we can bring down. We're going to open world it. Okay, that. Mal's a little stressed, but not too bad. Caden's under stressed because he needs to go on vacation anyway, so hopefully this helps or balances out or fucking so I don't even know if there's a fucking algorithm in this game for that, but we will find out. He's going to quit. Send on vacation. Go, dude. Go. You're good. All right. Me and Alan will figure it out by ourselves. Finish. Let's see. New topic, new combo. Engine leveled. Good. Ah, oh, fuck. Stories and quests almost did. Artificial intelligence did. Sound. All right, let's release it. See how it went. New research, multiplayer, finally. AI and stereo sound. We need all of those. First reviews for our newly released game, Duct Tape, came in. That's not good. That is not good. Oh, fuck. We are not off to a good start. Waste of time. Fuck you all, games. Alright, research. 
Stereo suck. Shit. Multiplayer. Uh, research. New topic. Sports. Alright. Oh, fuck. You know, I'm just, I'm getting to the point where, like, we're just bombing. We're not doing well. Cold Purple Games, we've followed your progress in recent years and would like to accept this formal invitation to participate in the biggest game convention on the planet. Games, games, games. Also known as G3. If you're just joining me, let me know how the sound is. By having your own company booth at G3, you can gain a lot of fans and hype for your games, and we think our audience would love to see you there. We will contact you yearly with booth options. Hope to see you at G3, the G3 community. All right, completed, sports. It seems that the initial sales for duct tape have fallen way below expected numbers. The game received moderate reviews, but it seems that the chosen platform isn't very popular with the target audience. You know, I was considering putting it on PC, and I probably should have. That's my fault. All right, everybody's back. Let's develop a new game. 2.7, fuck, we are nosediving. Medium game. Let's just do a small game for everyone. Let's do a small youth game. Um... Sports. Uh, that could be everyone, I guess. Uh, simulation. Platform. Do we have a license for 15.1, All right. Let's call it uh, fucking sports ball. Alright, uh, 2D Graphics V2, yes. We don't need a linear story. Simple Cut seems better use it. Yes, yes, yes. Gameplay, yes. Stories and quests can come down. Okay. I assume this would be like a small game. Not a medium game. I don't know. Better dialogues we don't really need, but I guess we'll keep it. Who cares? It's like 5,000. AI, way up. Dialogues, we can bring those down, because we have the boost from better dialogues. And level design. Not really a big thing, but we don't really need it, but might as well. Right? Uh, Alright, Alan, don't fuck with me. Mono sound, open world we don't need. Not in a fucking sports game. Sound, graphics, world design can come down. Way up there, graphics. We gotta research... As soon as we can, we gotta research stereo sound. I'm tired of this fucking mono sound bullshit. Thirteen bugs! Motherfucker. Finish. Let's see. New record. Alright, cool. Anything level? Stars and quests. On a sports game. Sure. All right, let's release it. Branching story. There's our RPG shit. That's what we need right there. Uh, let's find some contract work while we're waiting. 28K, fucking easy. Done. First reviews for our newly released game, Sports Ball, came in. Motherfucker! Must have star games! Almost perfect by Informed Gamer. Ah, we needed this. Can't wait for the sequel to Sports Ball. <laughs> One of the best. All games. Thanks, all games. I appreciate it. Boss, I've discovered that some really dedicated fans that who's the boss have created a fan game using a lot of the material from our game. They don't make any money with it and just seem to do it for fellow fans. Our legal advisor strongly says we shouldn't allow this to go on. What do you want to do? Let him be, man. Let him be. I love that mod community. The big game convention, $80,000. That's gonna fuck us. No, it won't. Let's do it. Doesn't hurt, right? We didn't market this game at all, fuck! We could've done a lot better. 
Thank you for taking care of this. We'll transfer 28 to your account. Okay, let's do one more fine contract work. Uh, 21 bucks in five weeks. Yeah, we can do that, I think. Hopefully. Hi, I'm Denise Reed, the main developer of Who's the Bows fan game. I recently informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us, and I just wanted to say that I'm very grateful you didn't. Cool Purple Games is the best company in the world, and I'm glad I can be part of the fan community. We have gained 983 fans. Smiley face. All right. Put your fucking coffee down and get these bugs out, bruh. Game off the market. Duct tape's off the market. It sold 47,933 units, generating $527,351 in sales. All right. Contract successful. 27,000 to your account. Latest game by Cold Purple Games has received very positive reviews overall. Star Games gave it a 10, saying, Must have! If Cold Purple Games continues to innovate like this, they might become a new fan favorite. We have 13,000 fans, man. We're, we're all right. Let's... Let's... Let's do it like EA. Let's crank out the exact same fucking game. Right? Uh, simulation. Pick topic. Sports. Pick pa platform. What did we put that on? Super TES? Who has the biggest market share right now? Uh, PC. Holy fuck. Vena Gear 186. Game link. Let's do sports ball to go. With the dog fart. Next. Yes, start development. And let's market it. 500k, fucking half a million dollars. No, let's just do magazines. This is how it was before, right? Yes. We're just gonna, we're making the exact same fucking game. Hey, look at that, we got some fans. Sports ball to go! That should even out the, just using the magazines, I think. It's not so bad. People are coming. They're checking it out. All right. 49,089 people visiting our booth this year. We didn't make it in the top 100. Once we get more fans, I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. <clears throat> Today, Vani has announced her very own console called the Play System. Apparently, the company has completely reworked their earlier Play System prototype after an Invento canceled the project. Hopefully... Uh, we'll, we'll do the same thing as we did with the Super TES, and we'll just, we'll, uh, we'll be able to do a play system game next. We'll just do fucking sports ball forever. This is how EA started their shit. The new play system comes with a CD-ROM drive and 32-bit processors and is wholly owned by Boney. Industry professionals say that this might be the beginning of a new generation of consoles. An inventor declined to comment. The play system will enter the market in two months. All right. Month six, so month eight or nine, depending on this week here. We should be all right. Yes. Exact same fucking game, guys. New research. Sequels. I guess it's not what I'm doing. I'm making a port, but still. We're just not making any fucking money. What's going on? Finish. Get those bugs out, brah. Yes. Good. Sports ball is now off the market. It sold 108,053 units, generating a lot of money. Finish. Okay. New record. Oh, shit. Ah! Fucking coming right at me. All right. Release game. New research available. Dialogue tree and day and night cycle. Cool. Let's research some shit. Uh, sequels. Yes, we definitely want that. We want... What's a new topic? Pirate. Fuck pirate. That's my, that's my rap name. Um, let's get this day and night cycle. And... Sports ball to go came in! Shit. Pretty bad. It's the same fucking game! Another simulation sport. They didn't know it was a sequel. Okay. I can't blame them for this. 
Not bad, not good. Fuck. Ah, come on. Get pirate. God damn it! It's exactly the same setting as the previous game. I think Sports Ball to Go was simply developed too soon after the previous game and not enough innovation, technology, and design. You're not wrong. I made the exact same fucking game, and apparently that's just not what you should do. Go figure. Horoscope generator. Do we have enough new shit to put in? A level editor and day and night segment. No. Okay. Um, let's find a publishing deal. All right, yeah, we can do that. Pick the genre, let's see. A horror adventure game on dog fart. And we'll call it, let's see, the last one duct tape did not do well, so we'll just call it rope. Scary rope? Scary rope. That's a way better name. Scary rope. Rope. Yes, 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 yes. Marketing. Are we allowed to market? Yes, choose. We're losing money here. We're not, <laughs> we're not doing great. Linear third, blah, blah, all this shit. Yes. Let's take simple cutscenes out. We don't need that on the fucking game, right? Actually, yeah, we do. Um, let's see. Design. Put you on stories and quests. Caden, you're on gameplay. No, Caden, you're on. And then I'll go there. Stories and quests come up. Gameplay engine can come down. Okay, that looks good. We need we need a fucking solid hit. We really need to do a lot better. <laughs> like a lot better. All right, um, let's see. Alan, you can be on level design. Caden, you're on AI. Mal, you can be on dialogues. And I, I actually, I think this is probably pretty great right here. And uh, there we go, that's probably better. Alan's gonna need another fucking vacation. God. Sports Ball to Go is now off the market. It sold 29,819 units, generating $208,768 in sales. All right, let's see. Development three, we want open world, not on the game link, no. Um, Alan. You are on world design. Caden, you are on sound. And Mal, you take graphic. Sound can come down a little. Sound can actually come down a lot. Okay. Minimum score was like a five, right? I think so. I think, I think minimum score was a five. All right, let's get these six bugs out. Well, one. There we go. Hmm. That's all. Just 2D graphics B2 leveled. Interesting. Release game. Alan, vacation. Now. First release our new release game, Scary Rope, came in. They achieved a great balance between technology and design. Fuck!
I'm not good with the publishers, man. I'm not. Develop sequel. Motherfucker. Apparently, I was, I was bitching about that yesterday. So it's funny. Sequels. What's our new topic? Dance. God, shitty, shitty topics. Dialogue tree, branching story, stereo sound. We want stereo sound. Caden's all by himself right now. Caden. Codemeisters, the game needs the required... Really? I got two fours. We're looking forward to future business. I mean, okay. Fine. <laughs> I thought it didn't, but apparently I was wrong. It is time to create a new engine. It's going to be expensive. But now we can we can go on the Vony play system, and hopefully that will help us out quite a bit. Hopefully, yeah. Who who knows? Game engine four. Fuck! I forgot to name it again. Shit and ass. Develop sequel. Oh no, I was talking about remasters yesterday, not sequels. Uh, let's see. Sports ball to go mouse. Sports ball. What was the one that, like. Wait, the fuck back here. Going down. Uh, hey Joe, what do you know? Six was the average score. 4.5. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, that's right. What was it? An aliens RPG. Let's do another one. We'll call this one. What? Medium. Everyone. Platform. Play system. Yes. Fuck me. Look at our money. Jesus goddamn Christ. Game Engine 4. Next. This one might break us. This one might... might kill us. Fuck. Multiplayer. Yes, 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 yes. Um... Caden. Engine. Let's bring that up quite a bit. Gameplay and stories and quests all high, yes. Marketing. Magazines and demos. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm just throwing fucking everything onto it right now, honestly, because, like, it might break us. Hi, this is Roland Keen from Smash. I got word the Cold Purple Games are working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? Agree. What is your expectation regarding success of what? Do you think that the game will be well received? type it. Let's type it. Thank you for your time. We hyped our last one to fucking shit on us, so who, who knows? In two months of Vina Gear taken off the market. I don't think we made any Vina Gear games. Scary Rope is now off the market. Alright. Um, do we need a level editor and what? Want to just throw it in there? Fucking why not? Um, dialogue should be awesome. AI can come down. Okay. Our hype's going up pretty fucking high. Throw a booth up. I Yeah, I really am. I'm just going fucking balls to the wall for it. Yeah. Open world day and night cycle. Caden, you're on sound. Yeah, everything's all set up already. World design, sound. Fucking, we're working our balls off on this one, guys. Hopefully a trend hits and it's fucking an alien RPG trend or something. It's been a while since there's been a trend. We have a million dollars and that's it. 
Oh, fuck. Right on time. Let's get that trend. All right, 55,000 people came and saw us. There's that. Let's get these bugs out. Vina gear is no longer supported. Okay. I'm just getting a couple more things in. There we go. All right. Let's see who the fuck knows. I assume we're gonna we're we're going bankrupt. Like this was kind of our our big shot, our big like move. Alan, Alan, both. How come Mal doesn't get a last name? Is because I didn't give him one? Probably. Let's find out. Fuck you, Alan Lowe! Can't you see this company is dying? Special training available for Mal. Mal, let's do it. Train. Uh, I don't know. Send you on vacation. First of using. All right, here we go. Beautiful. Something. Good game. These aren't the best fucking reviews, but Aliens RPG is a great combination. It's better than, you know, anything we could have gotten, I guess. Uh, train. Let's train you on... Come on, money. We're under a million dollars. Cold Boom Games recently released a sequel to the game. Uh, the newest game in the series title uh, was met with great responses. In an exclusive interview a while ago, Mal from Cold Boom Games made very bold remarks about their then-in-development game. Wow, uh, pretty it will be uber successful. Now the game is out in the market, the consensus that Mal should have been more careful with his final product as much. Fuck you. God damn it. Fuck you. Oh, god damn it. Okay. As soon as Caden's back, we're gonna, I don't know, do something. Clear trend towards simulation games. Cool. <laughs> we're on it. Genre, simulation, topic. Pirate simulator? That's fucking weird. Evolution simulator, platform. PC? Play system? Sure. Medium? We only have 1.7. This might be the game that gets us. Uh, what did I pick? An evolution simulator. Okay, and we're gonna call it. Um, we're gonna call it uh, under the sea. Uh, we're gonna use Game Engine 4 for everyone. Next, 2D graphics v2. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start fucking dumping all my money into everything until I have none left. Engine. Stories and quests can come way the fuck down. It's a goddamn simulator. There we go. And then they're gonna be like, well, I should have paid more attention to stories and quests. Fuck, man. Hold on. Get some shit. Um, dialogues can come down quite a bit, I think. AI needs to go way up. We don't need a level editor. World design, sound, like everything. Caden's very tired. Yeah, I mean, fuck it. Let's just roll with that. That's fine.
nine bucks was off the market. It did okay. Not amazingly, but did I market this fucking game? I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't think I did. Experience gay. New record, new record. And it was a trend. Hopefully this works. They're gonna be like, well, right wing didn't like fucking... I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know. Caden. Alright, let's release it. Salary increase. Motherfuckers! My goddamn company! New research available. Easter eggs. Okay. First reviews for Under the Sea came in. Holy fuck you. No way. Truly great. Evolution and simulation is a great combination. Outstanding achievement. Are you fucking kidding me? Almost perfect. All games! I couldn't... All games. All games. Come on. Alright, let's research some shit. Um, we got 86. Let's get dialogue tree. Let's get Oh, shit. If you guys read that, it's way too expensive. Better AI or branching story? Let's go branching story. That'll be good for RPGs. We got six left. What can we do with six? Can we train you on some shit? Make me think. Here we go. I'll get us something. Holy fuck! I did not expect a boost that big. Week two did better than week one. We are... We are back. No, I'm not taking your bullshit. Decrypt. This is a very special lava, right? Decline! I should have marketed this one. Ugh. Under the Sea, the newest game by Copa Games called Close to Good Reviews. And history professor Under the Sea is one of those rare games that will set a new quality standard for future games. Well, I can't live up to that standard! Ugh! Alright, let's, um. Let's find some contract work. Yes, we can do that. We can do it right now. Me and, me and Caden got this. We're done. Give me that money, bitch. 11 million! Fuck me running! I did not. We just got word that under the sea. Ba 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 ba. Ra ba 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 ba. All right. Okay. A little more contract work. Nope. Not a custom engine. Contract work. Uh, ten and four weeks. Logo animation. Yeah, we can do that. Man, this fucking game is just crushing. Let's do a little more. Two. Accept it. Done. <laughs> And a little more. 18 in eight weeks. All right. I feel like, did we research enough to make, to, uh, hmm. I'm just like pumping, uh, 65 and seven, no, we can't do that. We're not that fucking good. And that's the only one left, okay. Did we research enough to be able to branching story, dialogue tree, stereo sound? Yeah, okay. This is definitely worth it. Let's name it uh, Dog Furt. Create engine. Okay. Hopefully they'll be happy with us uh, keeping up with modern tech because they bitched about it earlier. Game off the market. Under the Sea is now off the market. It sold 1,478,588 units, generating 16 million cop or sales dollars. That sales dollars. Okay. Ninvento announced their next generating cost for the expected coming months. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. In recent years, the Super TES has lost a lot of market share to more modern consoles. Market experts said that the hardware TS64 is surely impressive, but expressed their surprise that it still uses ROM cartridges instead of much cheaper and higher capacity CD-ROM format. Okay. Nevertheless, the TES64 seems like an impressive console, and Invento has said that it plans to aggressively price against Bony's play system. 
All right, let's get dog fur done. Hopefully the not Nintendo 64 will be out momentarily. Alan needs a fucking vacation again. Go, go right now. For Christ's sake, Alan. Jesus Christ. Although we have 16 million, and he's like, I need to go on vacation. Seems the market is normal, because I have no little lot. Okay. Um, let's go with a medium booth. Should we go with a large booth? 1.5 million? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we should. Come on. Before the fucking thing gets here. Dog fur is now complete. All right. Let's develop a sequel to Under the Sea. No. No, we won't because Under the Sea only worked because it, um... Where are we? It's not yet. Okay, I'm just... I wanted a new trend or something, but okay. Pick topic. Um, let's go with a sci-fi RPG on the play system. Sci-fi work for that? Can I do that? Yeah, okay. On the play system, yes. With dog furt. All right, a sci-fi RPG, let's call it, uh, let's call it uh, bigger, no, let's call it uh, spaceships. Space, no, because it's an everyone game, space, <laughs> there we go, they'll never know. market it right away with a large campaign two million again going all in uh let's see here stories and quests way up branching story fuck we made it a small game shit I did not want to make it a small game. Fucking goddamn it. Doesn't need a level editor. It's a goddamn RPG. Dialogues can come up. Level design AI can come down a little. I'm f I'm super fucking pissed about that. It's just because I wasn't goddamn paying attention. Stereo sound. Um, just crank it. Fucking just crank it. God damn it. The 14 just get the goddamn bugs out. Yes, this is my this is my angry silence right here. Let's research um, better AI. Space came in. I expect nothing. Nice experience. Good game. We made Under the Sea! We are better than this! Very good. RPG game, but on your place, Tim. Damn it. All right. Let's see. We only have nine research points, so let's train Caden on 
Game design for pirates. And in the meantime, let's find some con. If there is any con, con damn it, I clicked it. Uh, yeah, we can do that. All right, seventeen thousand. Let's see if there's more contract work we can do. Twenty in four weeks. Forty-six in six weeks. Spaceships is now off the market. Didn't do shit. It was a garbage game. Do we want to try? getting an, an under the sea or do we want to wait for a while let's develop a new game medium game we're gonna do pirate adventure on the play system and we're gonna use dog furt and it's gonna be called uh gimme the booty i feel like i've probably used that before it's an easy one Yes. All right. Um, linear, st no, branching story. Way better. <sighs> Engine level. It's an adventure game. So story can come down too. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm getting there for fucking, for fucking. I'm getting there for fucking. Okay, good. Marketing, right now. Large campaign. Again, just dumping money. Kirsten Gerberdegerder. Yes, I agree. Let's be modest this time. Let's see how it goes. Thank you for your time. All right. Uh, level editor? Yeah, why not? Uh, let's see. Alan, you are going to go on level design. Caden, you are going to go on dialogues. And Mal, you're over here. Let's see. AI could probably come down. No, that's good. Dialogues could probably come down. Yeah, there we go. That seems, that seems good. For gimme the booty. We need another trend. I gotta ride that fucking wave, man. I need like three hundred million dollars. Super TS and the long sporty released three games to the platform to earn a total of two point seven million. Alright. Uh stereo sound up world day night cycle two D graphics v two. Yes, I need three D graphics v v two. That's what I need. Um Alan, world design. Caden Graphics, Mal, that one. Sound can come down. Rule design should stay up. I know, Alan, you're having a rough day, but... Caden, you're going on vacation right after this, buddy. Just hang in there. You're almost done. I'm sitting on vacation now. He needs it. He's earned it! He made us a lot of money at one point, a hundred years ago. With under the sea. All right, let's put it out there. We're under 10 million again, which isn't excellent, but engine leveled, AI leveled, sound leveled. That's not bad. Let's just hope these fucking sales match it. Release it. Video playback, AI companions, and soundtrack. Oh yeah. 
Let's research. Uh, 2D graphics V3, I don't want that. Easter eggs, fuck it, I don't care. Soundtrack, which is important. Video playback is also important. All of these things are. First reviews for a newly released game, Gimme the Booty came in. Oh, fuck! <laughs> God damn it. Let's train you on coding complete. Not excellent. Not excellent at all. Wait, what? who's doing what right now? You're training. This fucking thing pops right up over the bar. I can never see where we are. I think I can kind of see it, like right there. All right, contract work, accept it. We're up over 10 million again, so there is that. Yes, no problem, done. Um, you wanna do a large booth again for whatever we work on? Sure, contract work. We're under 10 million again. 78 bucks, but we can't do that right now. 45, 12, we can do that one. All right, uh, let's do one more and hope a trend kicks in. 26,000, just two bugs, Jesus Christ. Ridiculous. Hi, boss. I have a knack for security. I think we could really do with some security upgrades in our office. I've done some research. I think we're investing. Uh, not right now. Sorry, I bother. You fucking should be, Alan. You piece of shit. Okay. Fuck! We don't. Oh, it came too early. I mean, it'll give us fans, so there's that. Yeah, let's do the renovations. All right, look how fancy pants we are. Half-life, baby. Um, well, do we have new stuff? All we have is soundtrack. That's not worth creating a new engine for. All right, let's create a new game. Mature, medium, uh, horror, adventure on the Vony with dog fur. Actually, horror action, okay. And we're gonna call it, um, uh, uh, stab. Uh, yeah, sure, stab. We need 3D graphics V2, I need that. Okay. Market it. Large campaign. Yes. Look at this. We're almost down to 5 million again. Man, we fucking burned through that money. All right. Um, branching story. Yeah, why not? Uh, engine. Actually, you can come down. Gameplay, stories, and quests. Probably come down. Okay, that's fine. Dave Vina fans have waited la 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 la. The Dreamfast is also the first console to ship the modem out of the box, making it ready for online play. The console will be available early next year. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. Alan needs a vacation. Give me the booties now off the market. 52,000 units, 580,000 in sales. Um, AI should be way up. Level design can come down a little. Dialogues. Uh, actually, let's bring level design up a little. There we go. All right. 
Ellen's gonna need a fucking vacation soon. That all looks fine to me. I think. Okay. I have a feeling this one's also going to bomb. I, you know. We'll see, though. We'll see. I'm really... I don't want it to. There we go. Had to get all that little bubbly shit out. Experience gain, new record on tech. Stories and quests leveled. All right, let's release it, see how it goes. Motherfucker, you guys. I'm gonna fire you fucking guys. Special training build for Alan. Advanced cutscenes. Alan, vacation. Now. You, research, uh... Oh, well, in a second. No fucking way. Well, it's an eight. It's not bad. Strong audience. Young. Well, I hope you like fucking horror games. Okay, eight, seven, six, the next one gonna be a five. Well, it's not bad. Could have been better. Let's research video playback. Might as well. Let's see how we do. Not wonderfully. We got uh, a bunch of fans though, so there's that. Maybe we can set up like a Patreon or something. I should set up a fucking Patreon for my one viewer. Uh, let's find some contract work while this is happening. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay. As soon as this is off the market... Oh, fuck. Not great. Uh, our sales, I mean. Okay, so... Um, I guess I'll cut it here. I might come back later and play some shit. I'm not sure. We'll see. Maybe I'll do a Minecraft thing later. Maybe I'll do something else. Who knows? Anyways, I've been Cobalt with Thumb. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I'll, I'll probably be back tomorrow. Honestly, I've, I've been going every day. Uh, I'm trying, trying to... I gotta take it easy for a while. I did YouTube pretty hard for about three years, and I'm just trying to take it a little slower. Stabs off the market, 175,000 units sold. Little, little under two million in sales. Not so bad. Not great though. Anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out with me if you were, and uh, I will see you next time. Follow me on Twitter. It's right there uh, at Culpable Thumb or YouTube slash Culpable Thumb. Anyways, again, thanks for hanging out. Bye.